Um, in the previous video, remember I discussed this um, this page here, and I discussed the the concept of center of gravity. I forgot to mention. Um, perhaps you were looking at it, and you were saying, "Hmm, what are those?" But I found some YouTube videos on center of mass or center of gravity, um, which I think are very helpful. Um, just a few minutes, you can watch it, and you can really begin to get more of a three dimensional understanding of what it is. So the one is. Um, you can check this uh, channel out, Bozeman Science, Bozeman Science, or Bozeman, whatever. And the one is Center of Mass, and the other one is Motion of the Center of Mass. That's very helpful, very helpful. These videos are very good. The other one is this NCSSMD, or rather NCSSM, Distance Ed. That's also a YouTube channel. Uh, I think that's the one that I showed you in class. You can watch it um, with sound this time. And then the other one is this, uh, it's called Professor Julius Sumner Miller. And it's also lesson one, the idea of center of gravity. So go and watch these. Um, they, they do a very good um, job in describing what it is. Okay. In this video, I'm just going to discuss how we calculate the, the, the conceptual idea of how we calculate the center of gravity and the center of mass and the centroid, okay? This is, again, and it all boils down to the principle of moments, the principle of moments, okay? Um, let me just get my pages here. So what you see here is that in order to determine the center of, center of weight, remember what I said in the first video, the center of Grab, sorry, center of weight. The center of gravity is a point, is a point on the body uh, through which it seems that all the weight is acting. How do we determine that position? Well, first of all, how do we determine the, the total weight? Well, we need to sum up the sum up all the weights in order to get that total weight. That's um, pretty straightforward, and that we do by just integrating. If it's a continuous system, we need to integrate to get the total weight. All right. But then how do we determine the position, the, the location of that center of gravity? Okay, and just a quick note, the center, the center of gravity or the center of mass or the, centro or the centroid, the location of that position is given by X bar, Y bar, and also Z bar. Okay, you can see there's Z bar. Okay, so... The, the basic idea is something called the principle of moments, which you've seen before. And I just want to want you to just get this, this conceptual idea. Um, we, we take the moment of... Uh, how, this is just my own crude way of trying to get you to understand it. It's the moment of the total, whatever that total is. It could be the total weight the total mass, the total volume, the total area, the total length, whatever that, whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for the center of gravity, center of mass, or center of volume, area, or line, it's the moment of the total weight, the total mass, the total, equal to the sum of the moments of all the individual weights, masses, areas. Okay? So, just a quick point here. We can, we can um, determine the center of gravity or center of mass or centroid of, number one, discrete particles or number two, continuous particles, okay? Discrete particle is if you've got, say, a mass there and a mass there, okay? And say now they're connected like that and we're trying to find the center of mass or center of gravity of these two particles, okay? These are discrete. There's one particle and it's separated from the other particle. The second one is a continuous mass, so say now like a ruler or something like that. It's a it's a con, it's a continuous. Okay, so discrete continuous. 
Okay, you must get those two those two ideas. When it's discrete, when it's discrete, okay, again, the principle of moments, principle of moments. When it's discrete, we say the moment of the total. Let's, let's consider mass, for example. The total mass, we say we're taking moments about a certain point. The total mass times the moment arm is equal to the sum of all the, the masses of each individual particle times the moment arm of each individual particle. Okay? So, if we look at this, if we take moments about, say, this point here, then we're going to say the moment of the total mass about that point is equal to the sum of the moments. I'll just wait for it to zoom. I mean to focus. Sorry, I don't know why it does that. Okay. So what we're saying is, yes, remember the moment of the total mass is equal to the sum of the, the moments of all the individual masses. So if we take moments about that point, right, we're going to get, for example, we're going to get m1 times its length to that point plus m2 times its length. Okay? And then in order to find the location of the center of mass of this simple system, we solve for that. That x bar is then equal to that on the right hand side divided by the total mass. Okay? So that's that's what we do when we have a discrete system. Okay? And this is effectively what we're going to see in chapter 9.2, and we'll get to that in a moment. But but I, I love just giving the discrete example first because it's more conceptual, it, it's it's more intuitive. We are trying to find the center of mass or the center of gravity of this discrete system. So what do we do? We apply the principle of moments. We say the, the, the moment of the total mass about a certain point is equal to the sum of the moments of all the individual masses. Okay? I, I really hope you, you get that point. And so what you notice, if you solve for x, be somewhere here, for example, if m2 is, much lo is larger than m1. Okay? So there's a point in space where it seems as though all the mass is acting at that point, okay? So it, so your weight will be acting down there, and if I want to balance out the system, I need to oppose the system there, okay? So, so guys, please understand this concept of the principle of moments. And now, the thing about this is it applies, it applies to weight, it applies to mass, and it also applies to area and to line, right? So this is, even though moments, would, what we've been used to thus far is that moments refer to a weight, a force. But there's the principle can also be applied to an area and to a line, okay? So, so when you, um, perhaps now, let me just quickly move on. When we consider continuous systems, okay? These individual particles, say an individual mass, an individual mass or an individual weight, <clears throat> right? Because this has a certain weight, one, and a weight, two. The discrete one, we use the summation symbol because we were summing up discrete particles, okay, using, and we were, and we were uh, employing the principle of moments. When we have a continuous system, right, we don't have these discrete masses acting like that. What we have is we've got an infinite number of little differential elements that we need to add up in order to determine my x bar, my y bar, and my z bar. Okay? So for a continuous system, right, we would say, and now let's work with weight. We would say, for example, we would say the total weight times times the position of the centroid, the x position, is equal then to the integral, okay, of x tilde 
DW. Okay, so whereas in the in the discrete one we would say WX is equal to the sum of X um, WI. That's the dis this is the discrete example. Okay, the the moment of the total weight is equal to the sum of the mo of the moments of the of each of the individual weights. When we have a continuous system, we don't have discrete particles, we've got a continuous system. So we need those individual weights now become a differential weight acting on the body somewhere. There's my differential weight. And these x tilde is simply, <clears throat> if we're taking moments about a certain point, right? Say so there's my x and my y. That x tilde is simply the location from the point that we're taking moments about to the centroid of that specific differential element. Okay? So x bar, x bar, x bar, x bar is the x location of the center of uh, gravity, center of mass, centroid. Okay? That's the total. That x bar. That x bar is the is the is the location of the of the center of gravity of the whole system. But the x tilde, right? T I L D A is the location of the differential element that we're adding up as we move from one side to the other. Okay? So Again, guys, the point is we're taking moments. So what you're going to get here then, and what you're used to, what the textbook shows you is x bar is then equal to the integral of x tilde dw over the total weight, okay? But then it's equal to this, x dw over dw, all right? And then that can also be replaced with y bar is y tilde, Z bar is Z tilde, okay? And this is, you can apply this also for center of mass, center of volume, and center of area. Okay, so perhaps this video is a bit confusing, but I, I think you're learning something. Thank you.